next one I want to talk about is using your customers uh, for marketing. So here the idea is that some of your customers can be advocates for you. You know, and these are particularly your early customers or the early adopters, the people who are passionate. So what is a customer advocate? A customer advocate is somebody who supports, associates with and recommends your brand or your product in public. So these are the people who are active on your forums. They're the ones talking about your product and they're advocating for your product. And they're doing it just because they're passionate. They're doing it because they like your, your product or your service. They've had a good experience. So what you want to do is to empower them to do the marketing for you because this is the most powerful form of marketing. And this is something I also tell Naren that your most powerful marketers are going to be your customers. You know, the, the universities who've had a good experience with the startup win offering, they're going to be advocates and marketers for reaching out to other uh, account so leverage your advocates right so what what are the characteristics of advocates customer advocates are are, are customers who hang out who are, who are active on your social media channels when you post content they respond to it they react to it they interact with it they also proactively share their experiences and offer feedback on your product and service and when 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 people uh, attack your product or they attack or say something negative about you they come to your defense and they are also answer a lot of questions in your forums so those are sort of some of the characteristics of advocates but what you can do is to actually quantify the power of an advocate more precisely these are some of the the attributes that you want to look at in understanding which advocates you should be focused on who are your top 10 top 20 top 50 customers uh, as advocates first you want to look at the frequency with which they post how often do they create content how many channels do they engage with so what is the volume of content that they are producing because after all advocates are going to reach your customers through content second thing you'll ask is how relevant is this person for you you know for example if i'm promoting cosmetics then you know someone like a kim kardashian obviously is a very relevant so you have to find somebody who's or let's say that i am uh, uh, go back to cooking, right? If I am Maya Kamal and I've created these uh, 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 South Indian recipes, then what I want to do is to identify cooks or celebrity chefs who are relevant for an Indian or an Indophile audience, right? So you have to look at the relevance and match with your audience. The third thing you got to look at is reach. But the frequency is how often they post. Reach is how many people they reach. What is the advocate's audience? You know, how broad is their reach? And is this reach amongst the target persona or audience that you're looking for? So now, in other words, I'm talking about relevant reach, not irrelevant reach, reach amongst your target persona. And lastly, you want to look at influence. Influence is, yeah, they post very frequently, but how many people respond to their content? How many people share their content? Do that, does their sort of posting and their content evoke strong reactions or strong response? So look at these characteristics to try to identify you know who are the, the the advocates that you should be looking at by the way you can do this qualitatively you know by just looking at your forums and looking at who the people are or you can do it quantitatively if you've got a social media listening platform right so initially you can just do this qualitatively now once you sort of uh, have figured out uh, the importance of advocates you then need to figure out how to create an advocacy program so the advocacy program goes in in, in several steps Step one, which is what we were actually talking about to earlier, is identify the advocates, right? figure out who these people are. Next step is to engage with them. The third step is to enlist them as official brand ambassadors for you. And the fourth step is to empower and, in and incentivize them. So let's look at this. In identification, as I was telling you, start listening, listening on your social channel, listening on your, you know, blue word. When you post a blog post, when you post an article on your website, when you put a video on YouTube, figure out, you know, who who's liking it, who's reacting, with, who's interacting. By the way, what I, I do sometimes on Facebook is I know, and you probably know this too, that on your Facebook list of friends, there are a set of people who regularly respond and regularly like and regularly share and regularly comment on the content that you post. And there are other people who are not very engaged with you. So that's an example of what you need to do with your startup companies to look at who are the people who are list, you know, responding and then you want to reach out to them in a friendly way. So that's the first phase, identify the people who matter. The next step is to engage them. 
And in engaging them, realize that engagement is a two-way process. And what you want to do is to ask them for their advice, their feedback. Don't ask them for a favor first. Don't say, I want you to promote my product. Ask them about you know, some feedback or advice. And this feedback can be about your product, about your messaging, about your strategic direction. In fact, what you want to try to do at this stage is also create a customer advisory board, right? A group of customers that are sort of your, you know, uh, where, you, where you say you are special. You are a group of customers that I want to learn from, that I want to bounce ideas off of you. So create that group of people who will become your advocates, but engage them first. Then you want to enlist them. And in enlisting them, what you want to do is to give them some value. And the value that you give, let's say I'm a blogger, right? I'm an influencer. What kind of value can you give me? You can give me some advanced information about your product. You can give me a preview. You can give me some exclusive information. So this is something that, for instance, the you know, if you look at a company that uses and advocates really well, it's a smartphone company called OnePlus out of uh, Shenzhen. And what OnePlus will do for some of the key bloggers is they'll give them advanced information or a sneak preview of the new phone that they're launching. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 and remember, because that honest word of mouth is worth dozens and dozens of ads. And the next phase is to empower them, right? Empower them by saying, I would like you to be an ambassador for my product. And, and in that process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some support. I'm going to give you a platform for content development. I open up my platform so you can post on my website. You can you can offer them support for content development and you can help them by create with creation of blogs and videos and webinars and chats and case studies. So you want to make sure you make it easy for them to create content on your behalf. And lastly, then think about how incentives you can create for them. And the incentives can be manifold and all these are free. Very many of them are free. Early access to a product announcement. Give them a sneak preview exclusive events you know bring them to your company bring them to your campus you know show them your offices you know engage them in a beta program uh, host an event for them locally give them a moderation privilege in forums so that they are or they have a special status in your forum where they can act as moderators give them access to private forum that you're on with that these ambassador only forums are private forums where you're getting product feedback from them and lastly give them some ego boost give them public acclamation celebrate their involvement with you so that's how you use your customers as advocates and marketers for you 